Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone watching the live stream today for Sydney Catholic Schools Winter Conference Grand Finals. We're looking at the netball today from the fabulous Ken Rosewell Arena. And we're going to uh, have a fantastic first up match this morning between Aquinas and St. Joseph's for the right to say that they are the Sydney Catholic Schools netball um, winner. So um, I'll just throw over to the manager of uh, pre to post sport for Sydney Catholic Schools, Mr. Damien Kerr, who's going to introduce the day for, um, for us today. Good morning, everyone. My name is Damien Kerr, and I'm the manager of sport for Sydney Catholic Schools. And I've extended a very warm welcome to everyone here today to Ken Rosewell Arena for our very first Sydney Netball Championship. Welcome back as the two teams take the court. My name's David Bulmer. I'll be commentating for today. And uh, I also have with me from Olshet uh, Kensington is uh, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Hello. And I've also got Natalie from Olsh as well. What year are you girls in? We are in year nine. Fantastic. And off we go. So it's an MSJ first centre. Good intercept there by Charlie Peterson. Eva Canero with the ball. Another intercept there from Michaela Martin. Tiffany Mabry feeds the ball back out. Matisse Packer just making sure she's got good range. Swings to the post. Mm. 
Good rebounding there from Malia. Early mistakes, Gabby. What do you think? It's a pretty fast start to the game. Okay, great defence there from the Aquinas team pushing up. Good zone defence. Ball goes out of court. Isabel Ma with the throw in. Over to Michaela Martin. Off court there. So, Malia for MSJ with the throw in. Annalise Shaheen takes the contact and moves down the court. Charlotte Hunter looking to swing the ball across back to Malia. And Hannah Elvin coming deep down into the third there. Again, great touch from the Aquinas team, Isabel Ma. Charlie Aquant swings the ball over to Michaela Martin once again. Oh, great shot. And oh, ball out of court there. Athletic play from Aquinas. Shame it wasn't a goal. A lot of pressure being put down by the defense. Fantastic. Ball back to Malia again. She's doing a lot of work early. Okay, penalty pass or shot. Ball out of court. Early nerves, do you think, Natalie? Um, they're doing really good so far. And I guess it's like a really good game. I think both teams just need to try and settle now as much as possible, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, the nerves are high. Charlotte Hunt takes a good ball, turns in the air. Quick play down there. In the D. Ava Mifsud swings it across. She's got the penalty pass or shot. Could this be the first goal of the game? Hope so. Amazing rebound. Yeah, Eva Canero with the great rebound there. Moving the ball Ooh. well down the court, Aquinas. Beautiful pass. Unfortunately, oh. a step there for Isabella. Physical game, netball. Yeah, pretty hard intercept. Great refeed there Ooh. from Tiffany oh, Mayberry. And she sinks goal. the first goal. Crowd goes wild. Aquinas takes the first lead. 1-0. Again, some wild passing. Charlotte Hunter with the ball, swings it across. Talia Il Iljoski. Talia's doing a lot of work early. Desperately tries to keep that ball in. Unfortunately for her, it goes out. Great effort, though. Charlie Peterson with the throw in. Crowd is certainly getting into it now. Oh, lovely. Great stretch, wasn't it, Gab? Yeah, it was. From Isabel Ma. Again, Aquinas using their feet is really well around the circle, putting a lot of pressure They're on the MSJ their, defense. All their options from around the D. Yes. 2 0. Great passing from MSJ. Oh, commentators curse. The ball goes <laughs> astray. I apologize to all MSJ people watching. Good timing on that feed there with the drive to Tiffany yeah, Mabry. Tiffany. And the third goal They're goes in for Aquinas, in. taking an early lead here. 3-0. Recovery there from Matisse, Matisse Packer. Again, nice feeding. Great defense. Tiffany's really good stretch. Them in. What are you seeing, Natalie? Um, so far, it's a great game, and the team is trying really hard. And they've gotten quite a few goals so far.
Oh, oh the ball goes in for goal. Ava Mifsud. Well done, MSJ on the board. Score is 4 1. Center pass. Isabel Ma passes to LaQuant. Oh, great athleticism in the air there from Ma. Really using their players wisely yeah. to play really around the D when they're in that very special spot to try to get a goal. Oh, oh lovely intercept. intercept. And the Tiffany's goal on fire. In. Tiffany Mayberry again knocks that one in. Great stretch there. Ball out of court. Umpire Bruno Lorizio from Inner West. And at the other end is Nikki Kundras from Northern Suburbs. Both very experienced umpires today. Great stretch there from Hannah Elvin on the shot. Lovely. Nice rebounding again. Hannah works in for her own rebound there. And puts the ball in nicely. MSJ starting to come back into the contest. Good D there. Yeah, finding space. These girls are finding a lot of space on the court. They're making sure they can make themselves an option to their player. They're certainly uh, putting a lot of pressure on each other at the moment, both these teams. They are. Good feeding to the pocket there. Again, another mistake. Early nerves still showing yeah. for both teams. And now the crowd is starting to get into it. They're getting excited. It is. Catholic school sport at its finest. Amazing short passes right in the middle. Oh, good drive oh. and great pass. Oh, umpire almost caught the ball herself there. <laughs> Tiffany There's Mayberry with Tiffany. the shot. Oh, oh it rebound. Out. But great rebound of Matisse Packer who pops the shot Pop in. it in. And the crowd goes wild for a 5-6-2 lead. Great stretch there from Hannah Elvin. Quick play, lovely. Oh, great feed from Charlotte Hunter. And a great drive from Hannah. And in it goes. Amazing we have a goal. game, ladies and gentlemen. Fast game's a good game down on the court right now. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> oh, lovely. Great rebound, rebound. In there from Malia again. She's really making sure to get those loose balls from right under the goal. It's another turnover. Uh, they're very patient with their feeds, Aquinas, around the circle. Yeah, there's Tiffany. And she another sinks goal. to Tiffany Mayberry from the Aquinas Holy Family Flames, her weekend club. Ball movement quick. Oh, good recovery. Great recovery. Oh, good touch good from Charlie Peterson. Intercept. Going down the court quite fast. They are, aren't they? Really making sure to get on the other side to score. Lovely catch. Again, nice stretch from nice Tiffany Nice pop. Mabry. There we go. And good shot. Natalie, what are you seeing? Um, just a great and fast game, I guess. And you can see... Aquinas has a really great reputation and they're proving it out on the court today. Good patience there from Ma to hold the feet up. And Lovely she's goal. taking her shot. Time with a shot. From and a tease. Goes. Oh, again. Lovely feed in. Yeah, with the drive, Hannah Elvin. And Amazing a beautiful goal. shot. Very athletic.
Taylor Martin working hard around the circle. Feeds it off to Tiffany Mabry again. Again, the refeed swinging across the circles, doing a lot of damage, working the pocket it space is. this morning. And Tiffany their, Mabry makes sure the goal goes in. They're using their players very smart from around the D. Oh, great interception. Their defending is phenomenal today. Bad luck there for Tali Aldowski. Good defence. She's trying her hardest to try and stop that ball from going in. Avery with the shot. Lovely. Aquinas taking some, uh, doing some early damage here. Again, they're moving down the court quite quickly, but again, great defence from the keeper, Malia. For Wysakaria. That'll be quarter time. It's 11-4. 11 11 4 at the end of the first 12 quarter. 12-4? Yep, 12 4 at the end of the first four. quarter. Aquinas in front. What do you think so far, Natalie? Um nothing much, I guess, but it's like a really great and fast game and the girls are trying their best and you can hear such love and support from the crowds. Yeah, I feel like some teams they're getting a bit stressed out. It's very I don't know, fast game for the girls. A lot of defense down, a lot of interceptions that have been made to really change the game. Definitely. Back on for the second quarter. It is a MSJ first center ball. These girls are on their feet, making sure to stay on their toes the whole time to really find space around the D for their shooters. Great rebound from GD. A couple of changes for the Aquinas team in wing defence. Coming onto the court is Emma Stark, I believe. Some patience going around the circle now for Aquinas. Held perhaps, perhaps too much patience, Gabby. Yes, too much patience. I feel like they really need to use these calls very wisely. It's really... Oh, it's changed ball oh, right nice under the goal. Athletic touch there from Canero, and the ball then eventually ends up under the Lovely. post. Lovely. And Matisse Packer nails it. They're making sure to just pop them in. 
Their center is amazing, really got the speed. Isabella Ma. So Isabella Ma's a rep player for Campbelltown. It's an out ball. MSJ. Oh, great double break there from really Malia using Hawaii Sakaria. Really using the defenders. Their GK, yeah, see passing it back. Yeah, good patience. Yeah, trying to really get people free off their players. Lovely defense from WD. Just contact play down there. Again, Aquinas sweeping down the court quite quickly. Their transition today has been amazing. It has. It's out of four, out of hands, I think. Aquinas' coach, of course, is a rep player herself, Miss Falwell. She plays for St. George in the first division on a Thursday night. <laughs> Lovely pressure in the D. I feel like the girls are really feeling... Trying to feed back out. Bit of a scramble there as the ball goes out of court. What do you what are you seeing that from the defense end? Great defense. I mean, they're just really trying their hardest, and you can see how good they're playing with the defense, and not only that, but also the shooters. Yeah, they're very jumping for the ball, the defense. Lovely goal. Aquinas. Starting to really stretch their lead now. Uh, good effort there from the shooter. Come out of the court. Come out of the circle. Great defense. Oh, center was in the D. Hannah Elvin with the pass back out. It's a play. There we go. Pop it in. Oh. Okay, it went back. Ball swings across again. Another pick up by Charlie Peterson. Great quick play down the field. Oh, oh. intercept there by Hannah Elvin again. Oh, Just a, a lovely quick. intercept. Oh, fumbling with the ball. Emily Shaheen doing her best to try to hold onto it, but couldn't get there. Again, quick. Tiffany's really using her. Players. Athleticism there, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Very. Shot goes in. Aquinas starting to really take hold of this game. Great break from Matisse Packer. Again, athleticism from the centre. And great the feed center. there to Lovely. the base. And a this great is what they Tiffany. really need in this game. Just do quick, clean plays. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. MSJ doing a good job of being patient, working it around. Using their... Goalkeeper on oh, lovely intercept. You can see the Aquinas center and WA are really using each other, allowing themselves to move around the court freely. Yeah. Great combination. Penalty pass a shot. No. Oh, it's a throw in from the baseline. Mar at the top. Oh, lovely. And again, using Mabry every at player the they have. This is the speed with which Aquinas is playing at the moment. And their patience is starting to pay off around the circle. Good pressure there on the shot. But it goes in nonetheless. Score now 18-4. It's 
Lovely intercept by their WD. Yeah, long arms Right there. to the wing That's attack. Emma Stark. Tiffany's made space. Good pressure on the shot again, and it pays off. Ooh. Malia Fawai Sakaria with the tip there. Yeah. Pretty intense defending right there. They look a little bunched, both teams at yeah. the moment. A good timing on that drive from Matisse Packer was excellent. She's going for the goal. Nice Lovely. Shot. Nat, what are you seeing? Nothing except for a great game. I mean, Aquinas is really trying their best, and clearly all that training paid off. Yeah, they're really striving for their performance today and really doing their best in everything they have. Yes, Aquinas. Right back to Matisse. Definitely a, a sporting goal. powerhouse within the Catholic system. <laughs> Definitely. MSJ aren't giving up. They're fighting. Yeah, they're they? really fighting, fighting right really making sure to use all their players on the field to really try to get the ball down. Trying to bounce back. Yeah, really trying to bounce back. Uh, great double lead there. A lot of pressure. The Ava Mifsud, but unfortunately the ball goes out. Yeah, pressure from under the ring. Ball again moving quite quickly down the court. These girls are using their plays so oh. wisely. Lovely, right into Tiffany right there. A run on ball. Shooting well. Lovely goal. They're starting to warm to their task, the Aquinas girls. It's really only taking them like three to four passes to get right into the D. Oh, commentator's curse there, Gabby. <laughs> well done. You're allowed a few Out each ball. game. <laughs> Oh, Again. intercept right under to Tiffany and a lovely goal. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive catch there. Yeah, getting a bit physical. From Hannah Elvin. A lot of contact oh, on the ball. Unfortunately, the ball hits a leg, travels out of court. Throw in to Charlie Peterson, playing goalkeeper. Great stretch there from Caniero. Oh, Ooh, lost ball. Lovely intercept by their center. Certainly Aquinas' defense where they've been man on man and getting in front has paying off so far in this game. Goal there to Matisse Packer. The crowd is really getting into it. The parents and family down in front of us. Aquinas is really something else. I mean, they look like a professional team, don't they? Yeah, they're really getting into it. Oh, Lovely goal. 24-4, Aquinas. That's held. Defense. Yeah. Eva Caniero plays for Sutherland Shire rep team. She's also a very good basketballer. We saw some good basketball skills just then. Unfortunately, in netball, you're not allowed <laughs> to defend with your arms. Definitely right? not. Hannah Elvin with the shot. Oh, Nicely lovely. Done. Well done. Clean shot on goal. Again, quick ball movement around the circle for Aquinas. The timing for Matisse coming out. Long bomb, doesn't go in this time. Amazing defense though by the GK. Yeah, She's well really making sure to jump and get into it. Yeah, well done, Malia. Look at Mali. She's trying very hard, but the ball goes in. And Matisse back and again. Yeah, she makes sure to put her hands up. 25 to five. To five. They've really gone strong in the first two quarters. Really trying to get their lead on MSJ. Great stretch there. And oh, lovely convert. rebound. A fantastic rebound from Ava Mifsud, is it? Doing a lot of hard work around that circle. Unfortunately, the goal didn't drop for her. 
Uh, good scrapping there from the centre. Ooh. Oh. Bit of fall there. Physical contest is yeah. on show. The girls are certainly giving it 100%. A lovely leg split to really get close to the goal. Lovely goal. Well done, Hannah Elvin. Re rebounding well. Ten seconds left on the clock. MSJ going to try and get this centre pass away if they can. And get an early crowd of counting down. Yep. And unfortunately that will be that. the end of the second quarter with the score. Lovely. 26 to, to six. 6. Natalie, what were you seeing then? I mean, everything really. It was such a great quarter. I mean, you see such good defence and goal shooters. Just amazing players. Yeah, everybody's doing their position to the best of their ability. I feel like it's really shown on the court in the first two quarters. Yeah, and despite the score difference, I think we can really see how hard each team is trying, and particularly MSJ, who aren't giving up at Definitely. all. Definitely. And I think that shows a lot.
Welcome back to the third quarter. Aquinas again on the drive. Ball goes into Mabry. The double feed. She manages to keep the ball in their possession. The oh, great work. New player on the court. A goalkeeper is, I believe, Madison Reimer. And Mali Fawaisakaria there working the ball down. Again, Hannah Elvin doing a lot of work today. Yeah. Got Marley now playing in GD. Yeah. Really excited to see her play properly on the court and see what she can do. It's not a bad move from Coach Pierce for MSJ to bring Marley out. From GK, yeah. Yeah, for I sure. I think it's a very smart play to really see if she'll make a big difference. Now, of course, Coach Pierce from MSJ was a Sutherland rep herself in her younger days. So we have two coaches who have a strong netball background. Yeah. Fumble ball from Tiffany in GA. Great double pressure there from Aquinas. I love how Marley is making sure to stay open in the center third. Yes, yeah, she's That's very a held good at ball. driving the ball. But again, held ball. Pressure's high. I feel like MSJ is really feeling it. But I feel like they're making sure to just stay with it and keep bouncing back and trying their hardest. Lovely feed in. Mars she's really dominating that circle, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Lovely goal by Tiffany. You can see how excited she is. Crowd is certainly getting into it. Lovely defense from their wing attack. A good chase there. Charlotte Hunter moves the ball over to Ashley Peters. And again, refeed, great drive. Lovely great pass. feed in to their GA. Oh, just a little off with a shot there. Great rebound. Rebound. Nice shoulder pass, but unfortunately, out no ball. One Very strong receive. pass. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, a mistake there. Tiffany's come out from the D, really making sure she can be an option. Good effort there from Charlotte Hunter. Unfortunately, a contact. Really using these bounce passes. A oh, fumble in the hands, very. Again, great pressure from Aquinas. Every ball's contested, isn't it, Natalie? Mm, definitely. Yeah, I feel like they're all getting contested, and I feel like that shows them as players and as teams that they just keep trying to go again and again, no matter who has the ball. Their wing attack is getting a lot of height. Really making sure to jump. Uh, good pressure from MSJ defence there, and they caused the turnover. Good front defence causing the shooter to go off court. She couldn't yeah. get on in time to receive the pass. Well done, MSJ defence. Good timing we there really from see the attack. Marley making space on the court. Again, just having trouble getting it past that transverse into the attacking third. Yeah. Between the area of the court that Aquinas have probably dominated a little bit today with their defensive pressure and turnover rate. Good effort there from Charlotte Hunter. <laughs> Hannah Elvin coming quite deep into the third to help move the ball down. Again, MSJ forced to go backwards from the strong Aquinas defence. 
MSJ really trying to bounce back, and you can clearly see that Marley is trying her hardest with her defenses and her catches. She's been very strong today, Nat, hasn't she? Yeah, definitely. She's a really exciting player to watch. I feel like a lot of enjoyment with what she thinks, her spacing, and how she really gets into the play to defend. Tiffany again using her wing attack in center. Oh, lovely rebound by Marley. Wing defense, sorry, wing attack there. Ashley Pete is coming quite deep on the court. Unfortunately, the ball goes out. It's 27 to 6 right now. Not a lot of. What do you think of the patience of the Aquinas team today, Natalie? Sorry, what? <laughs> um, I feel like there's a lot of patience. I there's feel like there's been a lot of patience around that. There circle, has been, yeah. There. I feel like they're doing that. It's a very smart tactic they're taking to really just slowly make sure they get their shooters right under the goal. I feel like they really know that like the points are very valuable in this game. So they're really using every play they can to get as close as they can to the goal. And they're doing an amazing job doing that. And our shooter is in fact uh, Maddie Polisi. Missed that goal, but uh, her timing coming out for the, some of those balls has been fantastic already. It this has quarter. been. Five minutes left of the third quarter. Again, intercept, mid court intercept for Aquinas. That turnover rate in that mid third today has been unbelievably high. Yeah, very high. Michaela Martin again feeding Ooh. in. I feel like the girls, the defense right there, we've got Marley. I feel like she's really getting some of the shooters really. <laughs> You know, up stress. Hannah Elvin again coming down deep into the third. Oh, bit of a good chase there from scramble. Ashley Peters. Communication on the court. And the ball goes in from Hannah Elvin again with the strong shot. Held ball. I feel like there's been a couple held balls, and I feel like these have been very valuable for the other team's play to really yes. use that. Oh, lovely changeover. Yeah, great pick up there from the wing defense. Is that Shaheen? Annalise Shaheen? Mm. Actually, it's... Uh, that might be Talia Joski, is it? My apologies. Lovely jump for the ball. Yeah, good contest. Good physical contest. Yeah, very contest. good contest. I feel like that's what we've seen a lot in this game. I feel like both players are really just going for the ball. Not letting one team dominate with the Ava chances. There. Lovely pop in. Well done, MSJ. Certainly, the scoreboard doesn't reflect how hard they've been playing today. Good pressure. And... Shot goes up, unfortunately out. But Aquinas will get the ball back. Yeah, off their GK, really trying to get the rebound. Great one two again with Michaela Martin. Lovely one two, right? Maddie Polisi with the shot. Oh. And this time it goes in. These girls really know how to score. We might be seeing some future Sydney Swifts or New South Wales Giants out there. Oh, heavy hit there for Ma. She's back up. Lovely recovery. Certainly got a taste of the floorboards there, Definitely but she's a tough did. nut. She's carrying on. Look at her. She came out fast. It's a physical game, Netball. It is. It is indeed. These loose balls going out, I feel like really need to try keep them in and use the plays as best as they can. I love how Tiffany, their GA, is coming out and really helping in the midfield 
and helping in the play. She's doing a lot of work. And that swing pass, again, from pocket to pocket is pretty much opening out a lot of the angles. Lovely rebound. For Aquinas, but unfortunately the ball missing there. Lovely pop up. Oh, just missed the bounce pass on the edge. Eva Canero dancing the tightrope of the sideline there, manages to stay in, keep a balance. Again, good straight patience in. with the feed. Yep, straight into the shooter. Oh, lovely goal. Quite far out. Maddie Polisi with the shot there. Beautiful. Again, double pressure from Aquinas. Unfortunately, obstruction there from Mabry. Ilijowski there feeding over to Fawasakaria. Swings it over, but again, that pressure on those passes across court is really telling today. It definitely is. Clock winding down for the end of the quarter. Yep. 30 seconds from MSJ. Great intercept there from Ooh. Elvin, unfortunately. Missed opportunity. Stepping call by umpire Bruno Lorizio. Doesn't miss a, th miss a thing, Bruno. Very experienced umpire. Let's see if these girls can get another goal in. They have with ten seconds 10 left. Seconds. Crowd is sensing the oh, moment. Tiffany pop oh. And Mabry misses. Rebound. Oh. But lovely. gets her own rebound and knocks it in right on the buzzer. Right on the buzzer. So that ends our third quarter with the score thirty one to nine. To nine. It's an amazing third quarter. Welcome back to the final quarter for the Junior Grand Final, Sydney Catholic Schools Winter Conferences. And again, we have Aquinas dominating on the score, but the scoreboard, but certainly it's been a, a very fair, very physical and very energetic contest from both teams.
Wow, you've got a lot of girls jumping for the ball there. I feel like they all know that it's their last last quarter and I feel like a lot can happen in this last quarter. It's really anyone's game now. Whoever wants to put in the effort and try their hardest to really bounce back and to continue to strive. Well, joski has gone back to goal defence. Oh, sorry, to... No, she stayed at wing defence. My apologies. And again with Molly, you can see she's clearly trying her best and it was a wise decision oh, from the coach feed. to keep her on. Great feed from Charlotte Hunter. It's a lovely feed. Hannah Elvin finishes the job with a shot. Fantastic. And St. Joseph's goes to 10. This is such a great opportunity for St. Joseph's, Joseph's because Joseph's, yes. yeah. in the last game, although they were down by nine in halftime, they managed to win by one, and it's been such a journey for them, and you can see they're clearly trying their best and never giving up. Yeah, it really shows their resilience, and right now on the field how they're actually shows their resilience, how they're bouncing back, and how they're continuing to strive and do their best. The Cinderella story of uh, the Sydney Netball Conferences this year, I think, managing to go through their semi and now make it all the way through the grand final. It's been a great effort from MSJ for sure. It really has been. Straight feed. Lovely rebound by their GK from oh, another MSJ. Another great touch there. The defence of Michaela Martin in this game has been amazing. And again, Ma showing her versatility with it, not just with attack, with the defence. And again, centre wing Lovely attack, goal, goal attack. Defence this game has been amazing from Aquinas. They've turned over a lot of ball in their attacking third. Marley really trying to look see for an what, option. Yeah, look for an option, really see where she can be helpful. Again, great front defence there from Ma, uh, causing the turnover, unfortunately, for Charlotte Hunter. I feel like Charlotte Hunter is really trying to put in everything she's, she's got. She's had a great game. She has. Look at the effort level. Amazing. Great effort to try to keep it in from their goal shooter. Umpire Lorizio, though, has seen something in the circle. Didn't he like it. Doesn't miss anything. <laughs> There's something about Bruno. We don't Ooh. talk about it though, Gab, so. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this centre. Oh, lovely ball back to Charlotte Hunter. That's a great one too, isn't it? It Again, is. Again, that combination between Charlotte Hunter and Hannah Elvin has been fantastic today. It really has been. I feel like they really know how to play with each other and they're making sure to use those tactics and their skills between one another. Absolutely. Fast ball down. Again, the transition netball from Aquinas today. Full court. It's crazy. Three passes into the circle. and Insane. Mabry again with a great shot there. Score is 34 to 10 right now. Is that Emma Stark that's gone into uh, wing centre? Yeah, into centre. Aquinas. Lovely goal from their goal shooter. Great front defence there from Eva Carnero. Yes, a lot of pressure right in the centre third. She's worked extremely hard to pressure every pass that's got in today. Eva's mother, of course, is a well-known coach in the Southern District. Just popping these goals in, one after another. Again, the feeding and the patience around the circle from Aquinas. They're just taking their time to really execute and now Each these play. shooters are really starting to dominate, aren't they, yes, with their shots? Yes, they are. Their early nerves are gone. Really feeling comfortable right now playing. 
physicality there. And Carnero takes the contact call and turns over the ball for Aquinas. Nice touch from Marley there. Right to Charlotte Hunter. Oh, it's a lovely try on the ball to really contest. Is that Scarlett McGraw on, I think, at uh, wing attack? No, my eyes are deceiving me. <laughs> oh, good oh, touch there from lovely. Marley. Very athletic. She's really aware of each ball that is getting. She's given it 100% today. There's no doubt about that. Again, the pocket feed from Isabella Ma. And Matisse Packer nails the shot. The crowd is making sure to stay in it. Really encouraging their schoolmates. And we get that width in attack from Aquinas. And again... Another perfect the hot goal. Hands of Matisse Backer. You can really see how MSJ is still not giving up. They're really just trying to score and really bring the ball down to their D. They're fighting for D. Them, they? Again, good swing. Ma puts her body on the line. You can see how much these girls want it to really Absolutely. Not give everything. The final whistle. Got four minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Nice break there from the wing attack. Gets through the middle, looking for an option. Marley. Again, Marley's making always herself there. available, yes. She's the always there. The reliable Marley. <laughs> shot goes up and in oh, from Hannah Elwood. Lovely Elvin. shot. And a long bomb. Might be seeing some of these girls, Natalie, in future years playing on the Kin Rosewell Arena. For, Definitely. Uh, I feel like these, all these girls on the field really have the skills to go far in life. Exciting to see where they take themselves. The this ability to be future Australian netballers. This is where sport can take you. Yeah, and what all you starts can learn here. Through sport. And what a great opportunity that Catholic schools have provided today for both these teams to play on such a venue as this. It's fantastic. It's amazing. Initiative this year where these girls get to compete with each other at this level and again at this venue where their netball superstars play week in, week out. Fast play down on the field right there. Lovely goal. Maybe with a great rebound and shot put back in. Like you were saying, I feel like the girls really appreciate all the efforts that Sydney Catholic Schools are providing them this year all these opportunities to play against all other schools. And we have six different schools competing today for the Netball Grand Finals, which is a fantastic reflection upon the netball talent in the system, how widespread it in fact is. So no single school, no school has more than one team playing today, which is, which is fantastic. Ah, oh, the long bomb. Another perfect Steps back shot. and nails it. Matisse Packer. He's got the skill and the power to just deliver the ball right into the goal. Anna Elvin again athletically up for the high ball. Yeah, very high balls done by oh, MSJ. Good, good eyes to the back of the circle. Got a bit excited. Shot goes in from Mifsud. The score is 42 to 14 with just under two minutes on the clock left. Step back shot again. Wow. Unfortunately, not this time. Great rebounding from Marley. The defenders for MSJ really turning their notch up, switching it up, showing what they are able to do. Again, those high balls are getting picked off. 
They are. A lot of high balls. I feel like they've been good and bad throughout the game. No lack of trying. MSJ fighting to the final second to get another goal or two in here. Good swing. Unfortunately, Charlotte Hunter couldn't control that one. The ball goes out. Uh, around the body touch from Marley. Unfortunately, umpire Bruno Larizio. Hawkeye, we call him. Doesn't miss anything. <laughs> it's under a minute now till the end of the game. Girls are just trying to do every last little bit they can. Crowd now getting into it. They sense the victory is in sight here for Aquinas. They can see Inaugural it. Inaugural conference grand finals winner. For the juniors. For junior netball. This is exciting. It's an historical moment here. It is with 20 seconds left of the clock. I feel like everybody's really excited for the buzzer to go off. These girls are still, and you can see, they'll still play right to the buzzer. Oh, As you can hear it. Louder. Looking for one more goal before the seconds are up. And it oh. rims out, unfortunately. And that'll be the game. Bruno Larizio calls time. Aquinas. Congratulations. Uh, 2022 Junior Netball winners. Congratulations to them. Yes. And congratulations to Mount St. Joseph's Mulpera on a fantastic Amazing. Grand final. The scoreboard certainly doesn't reflect the energy and, and the, the effort. commitment. Yes, definitely the effort that was put in. But the final score is 43 to 14. Congratulations. A great game played by MSJ and a great win from Aquinas.
And welcome back to the second game of the Sydney Catholic Schools Netball Grand Final. Today for the Intermediate Division we have St Ursula's College in the blue and green. And in the green and yellow we have Bridgerton College Ranwick. First centre pass to St Ursula's. Esther Kami swings the ball over to Jay Diabru. Oh, good touch there from the Ramwick defence. Ball goes out of court. Amelia Simone to throw in for St Ursula's. Swing over to Amelia. Great rebound from their GA. Let's pop it in. The crowd is really getting into it right from the get-go. Really here to support their classmates. A lot of fast play being happened throughout the whole court. I feel like girls are making sure to find space, really break off their players. Lovely intercept from the Bridgeting team, the centre. Lovely open player there, straight in. Link Connolly. Lovely goal. First goal in for Ramwick. Jade Diabry with the center pass. Very, Sarah Kami. Very even game in the defense and attacking right now. We have some sisters on the court today. Gabby and Natalie. Oh, do we? Yes, yeah, so a goal attack. Esther Kami and Sarah Kami at goal defense for Snurschlers. Both play reps for the Sutherland Association. Love to see how well they'll play today. Good rebounding there from Esther. Goalkeeper for Ramick, Michaela Burke, comes up with the rebound and gets the contact call. Moving it down to Tani Doyle. Sienna Beaton. Pass goes across, picked up loose ball for St. Ursula's. Yeah, lovely interception. Again, some good patience there, working it to the back. Sarakami working half a space there. Replay by Jada to Louis. Throw into Ramwick. Good space used by the Ramwick attack. Full court. Here to Paulo. This is with a shot. Rebound there by Madeline Giannakis. Amalotti working hard in the midcourt. Ball too high though for Amelia Simone. Yeah, very strong shoulder pass. Amelia Simone is a St George rep. Plays for the Snurschelers Club as well as her school. Good lead there from the Ramwick goal attack, Ashley Connolly. Yeah, lovely fast play to get right into the D. And now Kira DePaulo with the shot. She's good at rebounding her own shots there, Kira. And this one goes Advantage in. Advantage goal. And we take the lead 2-1. J.D. Abreu with the great pressure there. Gets the turnover. Esther Faith, Kami coming out. 
Amelia Simone looks for the long bomb, decides to swing it back out to Diabru. Amelia Simone worked for the space, but the keeper read it well. Well done, Michaela Burke. Almost an intercept there by Esther Kami. Long ball in. Kept it in. Up. Umpires for today. We have Bruno Lorizio Hawkeye from the inner west. We also have Nikki Kundras from northern suburbs. Oh. Big contact right Striving there. Driving for that ball, Michaela Burke, but Amelia Simone shrugs it off and pops out the pass. And Esther Faith nails it. Gorgeous goal right there. Well done, Esther Kami. I feel like all the contact's really showing how these girls really want it. The win for today. Patience there by Smurslers. Just taking their time. Good feed. What are you seeing, Natalie? I see a great team playing. I mean, we're only in the first quarter and we've they've scored quite a few goals and it's such teamwork and they're playing so hard, trying to win. And you can clearly see that the intermediate girls are much more competitive and so are their classmates cheering them on. It's certainly a physical step up from the juniors, isn't it? Definitely, Natalie? yep. I feel like there's a very aggressive game. They know they need to use and put their body on the line. Great shot from DePaulo there, puts Ramwick into a 3-3 scoreboard. Outlet pass kept in nicely by the wing attack there, Holly Mintoff. Slowing it down a little bit to really let the shooters get into the defense, into the... Again, Kira DePaulo takes the time. That shot a little bit to the right. Throw in, however. No, it'll be a contact call. And the shot goes in from Ashley Connolly. And Ramwick take the lead, 4-3. One slips through, good pick up there by Emelyn Amal Alamotti. Again, the keeper for Ramwick, Michaela Burke, is hunting around for those scraps. Definitely, she's really on her tip of her toes making sure she can get to the play quite fast. Ashton Connolly steps in. The rebound there taken by Jen Arcus, Madeline Jen Arcus. And Sarah Kami takes the contact. Nice second effort there from Jade Diabry to find the space. And again, Jada to Louis with the double break. Ball goes out of court. You can see the Ramwick defence are working really hard to stay front on the Snurshillers attack here. A lot of movement right under the goal. Lovely pop. But Esther Kami with the controlled feed off to Amelia Simone who takes the time and nails the shot. Very exciting game here. Definitely, I feel like it's a lot louder crowd than we had for the junior game. Oh, caught just a little short there for Amelia Simone. She would have liked an extra metre. And there's a great intercept, well read by the wing defence, Emelyn. Lovely Alamotti. recover to give it another shot under goal. And timing on the hold by Esther Kami, who nails the shots. And Sinertialis takes the lead, 5-4. Ramwick showing some patience here, although that one goes astray. Again, great D from the shooter, Kira DePaulo. Pressure from Giannakis over the ball, a little bit too close there, obstruction call, umpire Kundra says. But the shot goes in nonetheless, well done. To tie the game at 5-5. Five five. Crowd now starting to get into it. Ah, 
good one-two drive there from Elia Simone. Sienna Bearden with the double play here. She's working really hard to get the ball down. Holly Mintoff a little deep there. She's looking for that extra pass. Again, it's a bit scrappy, but they're managing to maintain the possession. Lovely step in. Yes, Ashley Connolly. It might be one of her pet moves, the step in shot. And Sarah Kami reading that ball nicely. Lovely control on her feet to really make sure she's steady. Umpire Bruno Hawkeye Lorizio sees an extra touch there from Ramwick. Good hold from Esther Kami. Great defence there. The stretch by Tani Doyle. However, the shot still goes in. Nice feed. Good eyes from the oh, centre step. there. Sienna Bearden, but unfortunately the step. It's a very willing contest, isn't it, Natalie? Very physical. Definitely, you can see a lot of the girls are getting rough in a sense. They're competitive and they're trying to win and trying to do whatever they can. Got 30 seconds on the clock. Certainly the crowd are letting the players know. Tight first quarter, 6-5. Sarah Kami with the lead down. Sinertia certainly need to get the ball into the circle. There's 10 seconds left on the clock. A high ball from Esther Kami. Perfect She's delivery. got two, two thirds with the shot. Amelia Simone looking for the double play. She'll now get the shot or pass. And the shot counts on the buzzer. Well done, Amelia Simone. Handled that pressure nicely. And the scoreboard, a nice close game here for the contest between Ramwick and St. Ursula's. So we have St. Ursula's on seven with that shot by Amelia Simone and Bridgetine on five.
Welcome back to the Ken Rosewell Arena with St. Ursula's taking an early two-goal lead. Contact call there on Amelia Simone. The highs and lows of netball. Yes, definitely. Ended the last quarter on fire. Contact's there. Alamotti now. Nice timing now. Jean Arcus, it looks like, has moved into wing attack for St. Ursula's. That might be uh, Alexia Giannakis, I believe. And Esther Kami contacted on the hand, so she'll take the parcel shot. And ball goes in. 8-5. Great break there from the wing attack for Ramick. Strong feed. Again, loose ball. Contest from Sarah Kami there. A little bit too much and she will give away the contact which it will be a penalty pass outside the circle goal attack there Ashley Connolly well done Sarah Kami she's managed to get the scraps there feeds to a sister 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 combination and Jade Diabru lovely pop up right to the Goal shooter. From the top of the circle. Feeds nicely and Simone finishes the job. Uh, St. Ursula goes out to a four goal lead. Alexia Giannakis with a good long feed again. Shooter to shooter feed and Esther Kami nails the shot from the baseline. Ramick Senna gets on with the play. Timing there from Kira De Paula to pop out. Again, she turns well, steadies herself, and nails the shots. Ramwick back on the board in the second quarter. They trail by four. Great contest and striving by both girls there. Some changes to the Ramwick team, of course, with Senna Williams moving into wing attack and Holly Mintoff going into centre. Goal scored there by St. Ursula's. Crowd's really getting in to it, really encouraging all their classmates on the field. These girls are really making space on the field. Good pressure from the ramming defence there. Michaela Burke with the throw in. Sina Bearden. Holly Mintoff working hard outside the circle. Ah, good option there from Kira DePaulo. Oh, unfortunately for Ashley Connolly, she stepped. Turnover for St. Ursula's. These girls have lovely control over the ball. We're certainly seeing netball at its finest for Sydney Catholic schools today, aren't we? Oh, yes, the we ball are. The work and the teamwork bringing it down the quarters. The communication. It's fantastic. Good pass off for Simone. And lovely pop in. to come on and finish the job. Oh, Giannakis goes hunting, almost picks up the intercept and directs Sarah Kami at the back. But the goal goes in. Well done, Kira DePaulo, handling that defensive pressure there. 
Oh, great intercept. Managed to hang on. Again, Tani Doyle working in attack at GD, not just defending. Again, nice swing from Simone to Diabru into Kami. Contact call there by Michaela Burke. No, Tony Doyle, sorry. And the shot goes in. Esther Kami starting to find her range now. Great movement down by Holly Mintoff. Oh, great feed there. Sienna Williams. Shot goes in. Ashley Connolly. Bridgetine certainly are hanging in there. They're not going to give up without a fight. Yeah, I feel like both teams have really warmed up right now in the second, halfway through the second quarter. Bit of a crowd catch there. No goal. Interesting call by umpire Kudros. Kundros, sorry, from the northern suburbs. Yeah, it looked like there was a bit of contact onto the defenders. Uh, and of course, umpire Bruno Lorizio maintaining control down this end. Yeah, making sure everything's done right. Yeah, well, I mean, umpires, we respect what the umpires do. We may not always agree with them, but when it comes to Bruno, of course, well... We don't like to talk about Bruno. But. <laughs> what a contact. Uh, Very physical right there. It is getting quite willing, isn't it, as a <laughs> contest. This is certainly a grand final. Both teams For putting sure their bodies is. on the line. Especially right under the goal. There we Really oh. wanting. Very athletic from the wing defence there, Alamotti. Jay Diabru decides to see what the circle looks like as she <laughs> runs in. <laughs> really getting a feel of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, umpire Lorizio wasn't missing that. Ah, nice Lovely. bomb there from Zapolo. She's really getting the far, uh, like the further shots. Her range is certainly coming on, isn't it? Now, Natalie and Gabby, we're going to be having a special guest at half time. Yes, really excited. Yes, we can't give too much away, but uh, we'll be talking to someone very uh, special in terms of netball in Sydney Catholic schools. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Ah, uh, good patience there from Holly Mintoff. It's become a closer game at 13-10. And the shot goes in. in. We have a grand final on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Two goals is the difference. It's an Ursula center pass. Great double D there from the Randwick center wing attack. Wing defense, Stella Morgan there getting caught out. Putting pressure though on yeah. the wing attack. Lots of pressure. Brigidine's really put in a lot of effort to really get the game back up and try to tie it back up. Amelia Simone composed on that shot as she finishes the job. Ashley Connolly, great lead, and takes the obstruction call. Holly Mintoff feeding in. Again, we find the physical contest outside the circle. It's very willing from Jade Diabru there. Certainly letting Holly Mintoff know she's in a game. Up 
by Lorizio, just setting the mark. Good offensive rebounding there by Ashley Connelling, and she puts the shot away. Amazing goal. Two goals. The crowd goes wild. Good stretch there from Diabru. Simone comes out, looks for the refeed. Oh, the great intercept there by Holly Mintoff. This girl's having a really fast game. Stella Morgan moving the ball down, and there's a bit of a Sydney Catholic Schools cuddle there. <laughs> Just saying hello. Sarah Kami, as she does. Lovely shot. It's a one-goal game thriller here at the Ken Rosewall Arena. With a little bit more than a minute left to go in the second quarter. Nice Although this game pass. is uh, faster, um, you can see the girls have a lot, a lot more patience than the juniors, and they're analysing what they need to do and using that skill, putting it into the game and just trying their best. Step in shot from oh. Connolly goes in. See, these are the goals that are very... 40 seconds left on the clock for this quarter. Very needed in this quarter. Chinakis with the break. She turns. Can they get a goal before the end of the second quarter? Obstruction outside the circle. As Kami looks to refeed out. Shooter to shooter. Great job there by Stella Morgan around the circle Ball to get that over intercept. Brigidine with 10 seconds left on the clock. The game tied at 14 to 14. Stella Morgan really stopped that goal going in with some great pressure outside the circle. And it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, that we have a grand final Tensions on our hands. Are high. So coming up in a minute we're going to be talking to someone very special from Sydney Catholic Schools with the score at 14 all between St Ursula's and Bridgenine College at Ramwick. I feel like I'm breathing so heavily. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ken Rosewell Arena where we've got a 14 all scoreboard between St. Ursula's and Bridget and College Ramwick. I'm talking to Monica Otai, who is in year 11 at St. Ursula's College at Kingsgrove. Monica, welcome. Thank you for having me. That's all right. So just a little bit about yourself. So obviously you play a lot of netball. So who do you play for in terms of reps? Um, so currently I'm playing for the UTS Ramwick Sparks for under 23s. Um, I was also fortunate enough to be in the Giants Academy for this year, and I'm the youngest there. Um, and I've fortunately also made the um, under-17 state team and captain that team. Um, New we South won, Wales? Yeah, we Fantastic. won nationals. And, um, yeah, um, the Aussie squad too <laughs> for under-17. So It's amazing, Monica, of course. And so you've just come back from the uh, Australian training camp, AIS, yeah. in Canberra. How was that experience? Yeah, it was such a surreal experience, just meeting all the other girls from other states and um, just being involved in that environment, um, you know, that next level up. So it was really good. And how do you feel, Mon, that, you know, being in the Catholic school system, how has that helped you in terms of your netball? Um, I think with, like, obviously it's really hard um, juggling school and netball together. And I think just, like, their understanding of that I am 
juggling all this sport. Um, you know, just trying to balance that out and I guess, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure the school's been very supportive of you yeah. in that regard in terms of your time. Well, look, all the best with your netball commitments. I know you've got HSC next year as well, so you'll be balancing both HSC plus also all your training with uh, New South Wales and obviously with the Australian teams as well. So, yeah, congrats on all you've achieved. Your uh, Sydney Catholic Schools is very proud of all you've done and, um, and good luck for both of those things next year for you. Thanks, Thank Mon. Thank you so much. Cheers. All right. Oh, that was horrible. Welcome back to the Rosewell Arena. 14 all here. Really tight grand final. Which is exactly what we'd expect from both Ramwick and Kingsgrove to be giving their best. Giannakis goes hunting and hits the floor hard. What a great effort there. Puts a body on the line. To Paula, however, the shot goes in. And Ramwick take the lead by one. Smo comes out of the circle nicely. Umpire Bruno De Lorizio, though, sees a contact at the top. Simone with a shot. Intercept there by Giannakis. Brings it back for Simone to have another go, and she nails it. 15 all. I feel like tensions are high in the third quarter. Now, interestingly, Coach Fisher for St. Ursula's has kept her team the same, although she's brought on Miller Holtz at goal defence who certainly is already making her presence felt out there. And she's moved Alamotti into centre. Jen Arcus with the refeed to Simone. Great pressure there by the goalkeeper. They're really just chasing after each other, each team, getting one point right after each other. The defense is amazing. Each girl really trying to make sure they're jumping up for the ball right under the goal. I feel like the girls can really feel how important it is to try win this quarter. It's third quarter already, three minutes in. Score at 16 to 17, Bridgeting's way. Oh, a lovely, lovely shot. I feel like the atmosphere today being in this stadium is phenomenal. We've got a lot of kids from their school coming to support and cheer on all their classmates and watch these girls succeed today. Amazing touch by their center. It's 
timing there by Esther Kami on the hold, but great defence from the keeper, which I believe is Emily Grimmins has come on at goalkeeper. Is that correct, Natalie? Yes, that's correct. Got a lovely feed into our GS. Oh, just a couple fingertips too far. Again, the pressure on every pass here is intense. Girls are really rising to the occasion. Great drive there from the goal attack. Ashton Connolly off balance, but still nails the shot. Lovely and pop in. The crowd goes nuts. Alamotti just holding up the centre pass. Looking back for Miller Holtz coming through at wing defence. Arcus to Simone into Kami. The touch though from Grimmin and lovely intercept. Tani Doyle at goal defence. Great touch, whoever it was, that goal defence there. Well done. Yes. Nice push and go there from Alamotti. Unfortunately, the pass wasn't quick enough back to her. Nice intercept from. Contact Holden there. Off. Contact there on the ball. Ah, uh, Sarah Kami coming through. Unfortunately, contact though. We'll call that a pass from Kira De Paulo. Well done. Tensions are high. You can really see it right under the ring. Really strong athletic defence from St. Ursula's there to get that ball back. Pressure though from Ranwick coming down the court. Look at those arms. A little close there, though, from the wing attack. Cross court. Kami, very patient. Again, Simone with the athleticism. Got the intercept taken. Well done. Well done to the Ramic defence there. Lots of pressure. They're not making it easy for the... St. Ursula shooters. Really finding space. Get their hands on the ball. Lovely space from the wing attack. So Kami knows how to find that front space and she earns the contact as well. Oh, cord holding. Holtz there very athletically with the possession. A little bit too close there. Stella Morgan. And again, obstruction outside, but they seem to get away with it. Umpire Lorizio might have been looking elsewhere. Ramick moved the ball down the court nicely. Steady from DePaulo. And oh. in it goes. Amazing goal. Ramwick take the lead, 19-17. These girls are on fire today. You can see how tensions are very high. Very physical game we've seen play in the first and second quarter. Third quarter, I feel like it's kind of calmed down with contact and they're really getting into their groove. Back-to-back -back goals now for Ramwick. You can see... Emily Alamotti just slowing the play down to give her team a chance to regroup going into this centre pass. Yeah, it's really reset their positioning. Got a goal shooter come out. Again, working hard outside the circle. That's the Kami. As calm as you like, nails the shot. Ah, great drive. Perfect. Right in. Wasn't the timing great from Connolly there? And she backs it up with a shot as well. Ah, good shoulder pass. Strong from Kami. Drives in and the one-two with Simone. What a great combination that is. Great pressure from the D. Shot goes in. 
Crowder into this now. Again, Sarah Kami with the defensive rebound causing the obstruction and contact call. Really Drive using Drive through. Ooh. Yeah, really using the whole court to try and make space and to give her teammates some options. Very true. It's a willing contest, isn't it? For sure. Look at that big high jump for the ball. Lovely tap on the ball. Oh. Bringing the game to a close 20 to 21 with three minutes left of the third quarter. Janakis with the double break there. Looking for a option. Simone comes out strong, pops it up around to the pocket. Both shooters on the hold. Alamotti looking for Kami and she's just outside her shooting range. There's a strong hold. Good pressure in the defense, but the shot goes in. That's the shot to tie it up to 21 to oh, 21. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game we have here. Grand final, Sydney's Catholic Skills winter. For our intermediates. And it's goal for goal. Lovely. Kami finding the backspace there for the centre pass. And what a feed. Sights the post all the way from the centre third. And Simone finishes the job. Sinertialers. It's a chasing game at this stage. Maintaining the pressure. Morgan finding that space. A little bit too close there. Tina Williams around the circle, looking to find the space, working with the shooter, DePaulo, who a, steadies herself. An in and out, feed in, oh. Again, Kami with the intercept. Step on, but obstruction there from Holly Mintoff. Shoulder pass. And what a feed. The full length of the court in terms of the third. Well done. With less than a minute to go, he's now 23 to 22. An obstruction has been called. Simone. Changing up her feet there, just open out the angle on the pass. But the ball goes in. She took that pressure and she ate it for breakfast. And Ursula is up by two. Yes, that's it's what this team needed. Turnover on Giannakis, gets it in. Simone nails Lovely. two. There in we ten go. Ten seconds with their centre pass to come. Up by three. Could with this be the game breaking? Part of the quarter. I think it Gianarcus could be. with a long feed. That one, though, too long. Ramwick will run out of time to get this ball in. And there's the third quarter. Smersal is finishing strong there. Yep, with a lead of but three. But I'm sure Ramwick are not going to go away too easy. I'm sure coach, coach Beth Meldrum will have a few things to say to her group. And the crowd are really getting into this contest now for the intermediate grand final. 12 minutes to go. Three goals in difference.
Welcome back to the Ken Rosewell Arena. Snurshlers have a three goal lead. Ramick with their centre pass to start this final quarter. JD Abreu back on. Coach Amina Fisher ringing the changes. And she immediately grabs the intercept for Snurshlers. Ramick's pressure, however, showing. They've got the turnover. Stella Morgan. Pressure all over. Oh, there's a player hit the deck. Who said netball wasn't a contact sport? Nice feed there from the wing attack. And Ramwick. Come back. Millie Simone taking it quite wide there. Stella Morgan with the touch, but the ball. Contact call. Millie Simone steps in and nails it. Now, if this game ends in a draw, we will be having five minutes each way. So, I'm not sure if the crowd will be able to handle that, but we'll see how we go. Umpire Lorizio has found a contact call on the shooter. Lovely spacing on the field. Oh, Ooh. left hand shoulder pass. Almost. Simone athletically trying to get that ball in. Quick play, right down. Wing attack for Ramwick there. Nice shoulder pass, Alamotti though with the touch. Ball goes out of court, Ramwick throw in. Contact from Jean Arcus. To Paulo with the pressure shot. Oh, unlucky. They'll get a second chance. Contact from Sarah Kami there, going for the rebound. Connolly, oh, she's missed it as well. The pressure is showing in this grand final. Great touch from the Ramwick goal defence. Snurshel is getting out to an early lead in this quarter. I feel like they now, they now know they need to push right now at the start to really get that lead, that extra lead. So they're not struggling to get it right at the end of Millie the fourth Simone, quarter. Simone, if it's long enough, it's high enough. It's straight oh. into the ring. Perfection. She's on fire today with all her goals. Paulo out of the circle, trying to make sure there's an option there for Ramwick. Again, good one-two between the shooters, uh, but unfortunately a replay. Umpire Lorizio doesn't miss floor. a thing. Snurshel is very patient, working the ball down. Again, using their pocket space. Oh, great hands from Kami. And she nails the shot as well. Snurshel is starting to put one hand on the trophy here. Can Ramwick respond? 
Great effort there from the goal defence. And there's the intercept they've been looking for. Ball straight down to Morgan on a Connolly. There's an injury here. Umpires will need to call time. Yes, injury from the goal defence. Oh, no, not the goal defence. The Esther Kami, the goal attack. Let's hope she's okay. She's been having a wonderful game. certainly been a willing contest and while Snurchlers have a five goal lead Ramwick is certainly not out of the contest with six minutes 51 left on the clock crowd giving Esther a nice cheer there hoping yeah. she's okay looks like a pretty big fall though that she had just before Still pretty tight game, 29 to 24. Certainly anyone's contest. Coach Fisher there just getting her players together whilst there's this break in play. And she'll obviously have to make some changes by the looks of it. We hope and pray that Esther's okay. We've got the first aid there helping her out. She's in quite a lot of pain. And the crowd gives Esther a really big warm round of applause her efforts and obviously we hope that she'll be okay from this game. Certainly has had an impact on the contest so far. Ram wing attack there looking for options, manages to get away within three seconds and again Connolly with her step in, trademark shot that Lovely. goes in. Ramwick need a turnover here. They've managed to get their centre passes in, but just need that turnover. That could be it from the wing defence, goal defence, sorry, but ball goes out of court. Jay Diabru with the feed now, looking to put it up to Simone. Unfortunately, her toe was over the line. And now Ramwick with the throw in. Great pressure from Ramwick. Good one, two drive from the defence there. Right into Diabru with the long feed, and Simone finishes it off. It's a five point lead right Quality now. Quality netball here at the Ken Rosewall Arena. The pressure is building, and you can clearly see that the players, even the their friends, are all stressed out to see who wins. <laughs> to close score, and it's becoming we'll very hope for the best. Yeah, exactly, yeah. totally we, agree with you, Natalie. <laughs> we love stressed friends. Yeah. Tensions are very high. They really want to give it their all in this game. And you can see it by how close the score is and just their performance on the court. Again, Ramwick pressuring everything, trying their hardest to get that turnover. The Sinertial is steady. Put the goal away with five minutes left on the clock. They are up by five goals. Ramwick again using the full width of the court, pocket to pocket. As she's done all night, all day, Kira DePaulo puts the shot away and keeps Brigidine in the contest. The 
There we go, untouched from the center pass. Could this be the chance that Ramick are looking for on the Sinertialist center pass if they nail this goal with four minutes left? They could bring this game back from the brink. They're really finding options. Porter Connolly, trademark Lovely step, step in. in. And she uh. misses. But she gets the obstruction call. She'll steady herself now. The left-handed goal, goal attack. Handles the pressure. And we have a game on our hands. Bridgetine's really giving all they've got. Trying to find space. Contact there from Kami. DePaulo steadies. And nails it. They're Two really goals. Two in goal the contest. 31 to 29 with three minutes. The crowd are on the edge of their left. seats. The score is not that far away now, and we'll see what happens. Snurschel is bringing their shooters out of the circle. You can see the girls are really starting to feel how close the game is. Listen to that crowd. Champagne netball here at the Ken Rosewell Arena. The schools are getting into it. And Simone nails the shot as if she's at Olds Park just shooting goals. Great break there from Connolly. A oh. lovely intercept. Ramwick trying to be patient, but an intercept there by Leilani Seeger. It's an out ball. That wing attack. Made a difference since she's been on the court for sure. Janakis. Goal attack. Coming on for the injured Esther Kami, and she nails that. Got two minutes 20 left on the clock. The score of 33 to 29. Ramwick will need to turn the ball over. Yeah, they would need to get an intercept to really try to get the ball back on their side. It's, it's two on one advantage here, but the Ramwick and goalkeeper, exactly well done. Exactly what we needed. Finding options, really trying to slow down. This could down. be the chance. One fifty left on the clock. Umpire Bruno for obstruction. Calls contact call. And he calls another contact call, this time a little closer for Ashling Connolly. To look to convert. And she does. Lovely. Cool Lovely as show. you like. You can see when you need it, she really. It's a ramic centre delivers. pass. A little bit messy there, but they've maintained the possession. Paulo comes out, looks for the refeed. She needs to release that ball. Off, looking, this could be the goal that brings them back. Oh. We'll call that a pass, and what a pass over the top to De Paulo, who takes the obstruction call and puts the ball in. Gorgeous. Commercial center pass. We've got two goals. Less than a minute on the clock with a two-goal difference. Can Ranwick find an intercept? Manages to stay in there, Amelia Simone. Very athletic. Giannakis with the shot. Ranwick with the turnover. 30 seconds oh, left. They need to get it on the other side. And that ball is over a third by umpire Kundras there. She wasn't missing that call. And Sinertialis have it back. Got 15 seconds on the clock. Still two-point difference. The game's about to be called. Gene Arcus will have shot or pass. No, it'll be Simone to have the final the game, play of the game. It's long game. enough, play enough. It's and she did in it. the ring. Oh, and wow. the crowd goes wild, as do the players. That was a tough intermediate game. That was extremely close. Got chills all over. Great sportsmanship from the girls. Both teams did a wonderful performance. Awesome game of netball from both teams.
coaches now congratulating one another in the spirit of Catholic schools netball. Such a close game. But congratulations to both teams. What a fantastic example of the array of talent that we have in netball in our system. Well done to both schools for the representation today. They did their school very, very proud.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the grand final of our showpiece game of netball today for Sydney Catholic Schools. The senior grand final between Marist Sisters Woolwich and Our Lady of the Sacred Heart at, at Kensington. It's been a wonderful day so far. My fellow commentators, Gabby. Hello. And Natalie. Hey. And we'll be working you through this afternoon this great contest as the centre pass goes to Kensington. Sorry, to Woolwich. Yes. And again, pocket fed out to the shooter there. The shooter there, Charlotte Sanders. First Knocks in the, the first goal. Early and lead to the game. What about that crowd there today, Natalie? It's huge. I mean, Ulsh has brought nearly the whole school and we get from Mara's Sisters College. We have a mascot, which is exciting. <laughs> really exciting <laughs> we'll to see. We'll have to work out what that mascot is through the day. Yeah, not quite sure yet. It's a blue something. We think it's a dragon. <laughs> We're not sure. Something down Woolwich Way. Great feed there from the wing attack. Lovely play Mackenzie right into Southcombe. Right into GA. And Woolwich taking early two goals lead. lead. Nina Gomez there back in, back to Southcombe. Bounce pass, unfortunately. A stepping call by umpire Bruno Larizio from Inner West Netball Association. Loose ball there by Taylor Howard. Just couldn't hang on to it. So throw in to Woolwich. Oh, great effort there by the centre. Paige Husner. Lovely interception. Santa Mia Rogers, the captain of Woolwich. Really working hard on the feeding. Miss shot there by Mina Gomez. She gets a second chance with the obstruction. She gets a third chance, but... Rebound of Osh goalkeeper. Yes, Keanu Raymond really working out, boxing out there for the space and making sure she secured the possession. Patience here from Paige Husner around the circle and up high. Lovely jump for that ball. Strong one-handed pull in from Alana Gale, and she nails the first goal for Olsh. With 2-1. Again, patience from Husner. Assessing her options. And the crowd starting to really get into this game early. Taylor Howard. Both players out of play, looks to nail it, and she does. Grand final is on. Instruction there by Sarah Milton Fawcett. Again, great defense by Kensington, making sure that Woolwich have to use the whole court to get that ball around. Oh, quick feed from Gomez to Rogers into Sanders. That was an out ball. Oh no, it looks like it was a... Yep, Gomez gets the obstruction call and she nails yeah. the shot. It's a sea of blue. <laughs> Woolwich blue. Great shoulder pass there from Paige Husner. Nice touch. And fantastic balance there to... Lovely control. Milana Gale. Steadies herself and knocks it in. Ball movement down the court, very fast. Girls timing already is on. Again, a strong rebound from Keanu Raymond. Touch there. For Mau Nafahu.
Again, Mia Rogers just looking at her options. And then quickly onto the circle. Outside arm touch there by the goal defence. And this time it was Mahu Nahafahu. Nahafahui. I apologise if I got that wrong. Charlotte Sanders just staying patient with it. Again, Mia Rogers offering up an option around the top of the circle. Easy rebound there for Keanu Raymond. Lovely shoulder pass straight to the GS. Early nerves still showing in this game, Natalie. <laughs> yeah, um... I guess, I mean, the score is tight and everyone's really nervous right now. And although it's just the beginning, you can see that they're all still very stressed and very competitive. Lovely intercept by Ma'u down on the court. The old shooters are really jumping for those balls. Yes. The athleticism there of Alana Gale to pull that ball in one-handed. Very skillful. Osh up by one right now. Again, we see another turnover, the pressure of grand finals. In defense, Sophia Lloyd there, working hard to get the ball down the court with Captain Rogers. <gasps> the crowd getting right into the physicality of this contest, oh, but what a shot. shot. These are the times Charlotte where those... Charlotte Sanders. Yeah, these goals are very bomb. valuable. A long bomb. Great re-offering there from Mackenzie Southcombe. Swing ball pressured by Mahu. Paige Houston there, and they get the turnover. Mahu again coming through the middle, being really an option. Giving her team an option. Lovely catch. Umpire Nikki Kundras from Northern Suburbs on that side. Certainly keeping a tight rein over her side of the court. You can hear the communication on the field. Lana Gale taking both obstruction calls. Steps in front of the keeper, Maddie Britt. And puts the goal. ball in. Taylor Haywood comes out. Ah, oh, great touch there from Sophia Lloyd. Well done. Woolwich being very patient, bringing it down the court. Using all their feeders. Great stretch from the goalkeeper, Keanu Raymond, which has made all the difference. Ball goes out of court. And she'll get the throw in. Well read there from Mackenzie Southcombe. Charlotte Sanders finishes it off. That's to tie the game back up to 5-5 with a little bit more than three minutes of the first quarter. Sanders gets a second chance. And in it goes from Mina Gomez. Ice cool shot there under pressure. Maddie Britt comes out on the contest. Unfortunately, just happens to contact. There's a two-on-one advantage here for Kensington. But they cannot secure the possession. Paige Houston are unlucky there. Outside arm in. Lovely 
lovely reach for the ball. She's good on the one arm, Alana Gale, isn't she? She's got very good ball skills with ripping that ball in when it's high. Under two minutes now to go in this first quarter. Leah Rogers steps around. You can hear the crowd counting down. Great rebound from the Ulsh girls. They're certainly doing a good job under the post, aren't they? Definitely. I feel like their teamwork and communication right under is doing them an awesome job. Umpire Kundras again finds the stepping call there. Again, we see the feeding from the Woolwich attack end with Mia Rogers going to work as always. Mia Gomez, oh, sorry, Charlotte Sanders to Mia Gomez who puts the shot in. Less it's than a minute to go. Score is now 7-6, Maris Spies Lane. looking to feed in. Paige Huesner just dropped her head there. Woolwich, can they get a goal in the last half a minute? Mini Gomez sets herself and nails it. A two-point lead with 8-6 Morris Way in the possession of Morris College right now. Again, strong rebounding from the Kensington defence team. And that's, that's first, first quarter. 8-6 Morris Way. What a game we have on our hands. Let's see what the coaches will do in terms of ringing in some changes for the second quarter. Welcome back, Ken Rosewell Arena for this championship grand final between Our Lady of Sacred Heart Kensington and Mara's sisters Woolwich. The score is 8-6. There's been some changes to the Kensington team. Mahu has moved herself into goal attack. Alana Gale again, strong rebounding. And gets the shot. 
to make it a one-point game. We have Camille Mussolini, who's moved into goal shooter for Marist College, Woolwich. And she takes the shot now and nails it. Coach Watts bringing in a good change there. She has immediate impact in the game. Uh, wing attack for Kensington runs out of court there. Morris really trying to find space on the court. Really opening up their plays. Their mid-court has definitely been busy today, haven't they? Yes, they have. I feel like they know that Ulsh is a strong team, so they're really trying to give themselves as much opportunities. Certainly the speed of their attacking third has been on show today. And there's an example of it. As they take the lead in this game. Again, Alana Gale strong under the post. And Mau subbed in in goal attack. Finishes it off. Coach Watts, of course, netball pedigree. He went to uh, school with Julie Fitzgerald, coach of the Giants. He went to school with their daughters, so he knows a thing or two about netball. Definitely does. So he tells me. <laughs> nice shot there again from Camille. Certainly showing that she can own these big moments in the grand final. Lovely touch from the Woolwich goal defence there, Tatum Kelly. Gives Olsh a bit of time to reset their play. Can hear the communication on the court. And see that um, Paige Houston has moved back to the defence lineup. She's now playing in goal defence. Good front position there by the Ramwick Centre. And again, the athleticism of Camille Musalem. Great stretch from the keeper, and it's enough to put the shot off. She's doing amazing. But That's another one. These could Got a be rebound. gold medal winning rebounds they're getting here. Mahu's certainly showing a versatility today, going from defence to shooting. So she can play both defence and attack. And again, the patience in the circle there. The ball goes in, the shot gets nailed. How will Woolwich respond? Nice drive there from the wing attack, Southcombe. Rogers looking for the quick play. Again, she's dominating outside that circle with controlling it. And the crowd's certainly coming alive. But Ramwick answers with a turnover. And Keanu Raymond. That's over. A third? A third. So that is Maris Bohr. Pressure applied. Kensington almost come up with a steal there. But again, good one-two play from the shooter. Camille Mussolini. Oh, 
Haley Spies at wing attack, is it? Unfortunately, a stepping call there. Still close game with 13-9. Ah, threaded the needle, Mia Rogers. And Mia Gomez steps up and puts that one away. Ulsh just falling behind a little bit now. Would probably want to get the turnover, and they do that through Spies. Great hand coming through there to cause the turnover. Long pass from Husner. Woolwich defence are doing a good job of getting around and playing front. A hush comes over the crowd here. Kensington offside. Will each get a break, but cannot secure that possession. Good eyes there from Spies into the circle, and Alana Gale will take the contact call, and Ma'u steps Ma up and puts it away. She delivers it. Four-goal contest here at the Ken Rosewell Arena. Offside again by Osh. Wing attack. Certainly been a magnificent day of Nepal so far with our junior intermediate games. And certainly this contest. Very rough down on the court. <laughs> it's not letting us down in its physicality. Definitely isn't. But like the other two games, it's been played in the great spirit. Lovely defense by Yeah, rebounding by Tatum Kelly, but it went straight back to Mau. Oh, she's up again. She's got another chance. And she's popped it in by Mau's got the goal. The versatility of Mau. Good patience there from Kelly. Somehow, the wing attack there. Mackenzie South can find the space to get the ball in. And Camille Musalem finishes off the job. Quick play right under Tumau. Nice one too, wasn't it? It was. I feel like these girls have been really smart with their plays. Under the goal. Kensington is certainly not going away. They're making this a very close contest. So what we're finding is the patience of Woolwich outside the circle with their connection between their centre and the wing attack is certainly giving them plenty of options around the circle. Ramick are doing their best to defend it and certainly are relying oh, on the missed shot off outside. the foot out of court. Foot out on the line. These small little details yes. may really get the game. An inch and then a mile. Nice stretch there from Camille. Almost the rebound there from Mina Gomez, but it'll be a throw in to Kensington. Big strong overhead pass, but the ball is too strong. Out it goes. Sophia Pain. Lloyd getting the scrap there, the throw in. Again, too long, too high. Oi! The physicality of Netball, who said it wasn't a <laughs> it's getting aggressive. contact sport. Lana Gale again with the one handed pull in. Rebound up for a second chance. Yep. Woolwich probably need to look at boxing out a little more on some of those shots to secure that rebound. Lovely by Ma'u. Lovely to see Mia Rogers bouncing back up there. Took the knock and then back up to her feet straight away. Yeah. 
Two-handed, high feed into Gale. And again, Ma'u steps up for her. And she puts it away. Kensington are doing a good job of pressuring the centre pass. And, and they've Kensing secured the possession. Kensington ball. Paige Houston are very patient there, looking at her options. Very fast game we've got down here. Under a minute. Score is now... This quarter has rocketed by. It's 15 to 14. Morris Way. What one a goal, contest. One goal difference. It's in Kensington's... Nice feed into Ma'u and Woolwich have got the turnover. It'll be a throw with 30 seconds to go. Can they put a goal in? Again, Mia Rogers doing the work. Wing attack. Southcombe looking for her options. Got 20 seconds. Shoot it. Oh, Mia and now lovely. Camille with a shot. Lovely. 12 seconds on the clock. It was amazing feed in. Marist Woolwich puts it away. Can Ramick put one more goal in? Ma'u's aware of the time. What a feed to the post. And Alana and Gale first, has put her foot quarter. out of court. And that will be the end of the second quarter. What a grand final we have on our hands. It's a one goal contest is exactly what. Two goal contest. Two goal contest. <laughs> Maths is not my strong point. <laughs> And uh, what a contest though we do have in terms of a grand final. It's exactly what we thought it would be in terms of a close and hard fought netball game. Welcome back. We have a very tight contest on our hands. Both teams very willing. Lots of skill on show. And it's a two goal ball game at this point. Coach Watts there just ruminating on his changes and his Defensive structures for this next quarter. And Woolwich take the court. And here comes Kensington. Again, Coach Fitzgerald with her background as a netball player herself. 
from the Wyong and Ramwick Netball Associations. Trying to influence as much as she can this last quarter, or this third quarter. Woolwich with the centre pass. Pressure shot there from Camille Muslim, and she nails it. Big overhead pass to Gail. And Ma Fu puts the shot away. It's goal for goal. Ramwick touch. Sorry, Kensington touch. Woolwich with the ball. Nina Gomez with the one two, but unfortunately she's stepped. Umpire Bruno Larizio not missing a thing. That's because when Bruno makes his calls, he knows what he's doing. Lovely interception by their centre. Although there's something about Bruno. <laughs> Although we don't talk about it. <laughs> Contact there from, is it? GD. Sarah Nungforsett has got into goal defence for Kensington. And the centre for Kensington is now, I'll just check my notes. Great feed there and great balance, but just puts a foot out of court, Alana Gale. Yeah, just a couple of centimetres out. That's all it takes. Swift ball movement down the court. Centre is on fire, an interception. And a oh, stepping step. call there. Unlucky for Sarah Nungforce. A great effort though, athletically, but she does get the rebound. Oh, and it goes straight into the arms <laughs> right. of Mina Gomez. Sorry, not Mina Gomez. It was, uh, can't see who it is. A w wing attack a, for yes. Woolwich. Southam. Crowd getting into this now. Gomez just working the ball around the circle. Great one-two feed there with the shooter. Who puts it in? Woolwich now coming out to a five-goal lead, putting pressure on Kensington, and they were interception get that possession as well by Tatum Kelly, was it? Great job there. if it's long enough and it's high enough and it's not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call that a assist to shooter Camille Muslim, who finishes the job. So Natalie, you're from Ulsh yourself, so you know most of these girls. Um, yeah, and I've seen them play before and they're such good players and it's honestly so stressful right now, especially when it's your own school playing, to see them you know, kind of fall behind, but they're doing such great interceptions and defences and hopefully they make a comeback. Yeah, really trying to stay in the game. Of course, your commentary has been very unbiased, Gabby oh. and Natalie. So. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, really rooting for both. Us, but Net netball <laughs> is the winner. Yes. <laughs> I feel like both teams are doing a phenomenal job. I feel like you can hear the crowd from both schools. Yeah, well, it's certainly a willing contest. And with five goals, or seven goals now, sorry. But still, it still could be anyone's game. Exactly. It's in possession of Maris. And she kept it in out. Wing defense. Somehow, Sophia Lloyd keeps that ball in. Great athleticism there. 
the high jumps from Mara Center. Mia Rogers directing the circle there. Oh, it was a hell ball, hell was ball, it? Hell ball, yes. Three second call from umpire Talizio. Just goes to show how stressed out the girls are. It is very stressful, isn't it? Tensions are very high. Everyone's stressed. I mean, I'm sitting here and I'm <laughs> getting so hot watching them <laughs> because it's so stressful. Grand finals don't come about every day. Umpire Talizio there fell over, adding to the spectacle, but up he gets. And meanwhile, Mina Gomez nails the shot. And again, Woolwich now out to an eight goal lead, starting to really control this contest. Kensington are going to have to really work hard on their defensive pressure, and certainly that's a good start. Yeah, a lot of pressure. Now the challenge here is to make sure the transition to goal and put this turnover... Really use it... ...into the ring. ...to yep. their advantage. There's a good outlet pass. And again, strength from Sarah Milne Fawcett coming down the court. Strong feed again, the one arm pulling from Alana Gale. This time Woolwich gets their hand in there. Ma'u, the ball up nice and high. Woolwich with the great intercept there by oh, Maddie Brittle, Tatum Kelly, but the defence has been fantastic. The feeding from outside of the goal really helping. It's Osha's possession now. Change over rebound from under the goal. You can really see Osha's kind of calming down their play right now, taking a bit slower. Perhaps too slow. Too slow. Change over from under the goal. They but get it back nonetheless. Yes, an Osha's ball from. Again, the crowd groans. As Mackenzie Southam hits the floor. Great Out. athleticism <laughs> there from Tatum Kelly, but unfortunately puts foot a foot line. out. Outside arm in, fantastic defence and secures that turnover well done bit under pressure you can see the Mara Sisters College coach is really getting them to slow down the play <laughs> to calm it down a little yes. bit I think everybody's really high and really you know tensions are very beaming through and you can see it's kind of getting they need to settle don't they yeah it's getting to most of them and you can really see that on the field, on the Well, I think court. Ma'u is the one to do that, and she does she settle, is. and she does put the shot away. Still a seven lead for Maris College. But it's now the centre pass for Ramwick. Sorry, for Kensington. Get my suburbs confused. <laughs> High jump from their GK. Ma'u does it again. We have a game on our hands. Osha's coming back stronger and their plays are getting much better now. Absolutely, Natalie, I agree. A There's a great intercept by Milne Fawcett. And again, comes through with a double uh, play there. Another interception right in. This game is turning into aerial ping pong. <laughs> They just need to secure the possession. It's been a changeover twice. Oh, oh. And it's done again. <laughs> Someone want to score a goal. <laughs> there we go with Alana Gale, the one two there with the center, and she puts it and in. And she pops it in. Very strong. After a big couple of changeovers in the middle. 
Lovely goal to finish it off for Olsh. We've got our GS that has come out. Maris Changeover. Ball back there through Rogers. Out comes hey, GK. Shoot, yeah. Great intercept there. Went hunting. So Osher's ball. Tatum Kelly flies into the post. Puts her body on the line. You can see how much these girls want this win. Girls are getting back Both up. Both teams. With only now a four lead win for Maris College. Again with the hunting from Paige Huesner. Unfortunately, the it body contact, contact before the intercept. Great striving nonetheless. You can see the effort is fantastic. Five goal difference. With only a minute left in the third quarter. You can see the girls are making sure everyone's marked in their D. Crowd revving up the teams now. Oh, Lovely intercept. Athleticism. Unfortunately, just couldn't control her balance before she got rid of the ball. Great effort, nonetheless, from Nong Fawcett. And then Gomez, again, control. Taking the contact. And if it's long enough, no, it's not. It's a pass off. And in it goes by Camille Muslim. Good option there by Gomez just to make sure that the goal went in. And, and make sure that the game's about to be. Woolwich will go into three quarters. There's time. the third quarter. What's that lead, Gabby? There. It is a 25 to 19, so a six lead win right now for Maris College. Okay. And we'll be back with the fourth and final quarter. Welcome back to the final quarter of the Showpiece Grand Final for Senior Netball in Sydney Catholic Schools. Contact there by Kensington. Paige Houston coming out hunting. But they get the rebound through Sarah Nungforset. They can put this one away. We are certainly in for a great final quarter. 
feed just off, but last off the Woolwich hands. So Alana Gale will step up for the throw in. Instruction call there. And Ma'u, sweet shot, doesn't even touch the ring. Maris pick up the loose ball there, obstruction call. What a great opportunity it's been today for both these teams to be playing on the Ken Rosewell Arena. Obviously a, a netball court that a lot of their netball heroes play at. The Suncorp netball teams of Sydney Swifts, New South Wales Swifts and the New South Wales Giants play here. So a great opportunity for them. Now for the changes for the last quarter. Scarlett Tucker has gone into wing defence for, for Morris College. For Morris Woolwich. And for Kensington, the wing attack is, I'll just check my notes. Is it Taylor? We'll see. They've got the turnover nonetheless. Well, they did have the turnover. They've still got the turnover. Well, they kept it in possession. Again, using all the full width of the court there. Finding Maris just really pressuring every par pass now. But hands on the ball, that control from the Osh GS and the rebound. Timing for Ma'u then just to go to the bounce pass was amazing. And again, the sweetness of her shot. Nothing but net. Five goals of difference. Yeah, only a five lead. I feel like both teams keep catching up to each other. What a great one too from Ma'u there. Can she finish it off with yes, a goal? She, she does can. indeed. She claps her teammates on. She knows this could be the moment. Nine minutes to go, three goals in the grand final. Mia Rogers again with the sweep and the pass. Instruction call there, just slows things down. Mara swinging it, using their pockets, opening out the space. Game starting to get a little physical. You can see how much this means to the girls. That's Kiana Raymond, is it, that's gone into wing attack? Yeah. Wing D. Yep. And there's a long feed in. Good hold that was on, but great sure. defense just to pressure that pass. Yeah, and it's an Osh possession. Step in from Ma'u, and yet yes. she still gets the shot away despite the physicality of the defensive contest. She delivers that goal amazingly. Mia Rogers with the vision, looking around the court and the speed. Again, just making sure that the options are there. That ball, however, goes a little wide. She's really trying to make sure she's using her whole centre mid. Oh, she's doing very quick plays. I feel like it's really catching up to them. They need to slow it down a bit to really make sure they've got their hands on the ball and no stepping going on. You're right, Gabby. It's gotten a little scrappy in the mid-third there for both teams. Again, Olsh, uh, sorry, Woolwich just trying to swing the ball. Open up the angles for the pass. Shot goes off, but Gomez gets a second chance. Great pressure there from Paige Husner, but Gomez secures the goal. With a five-point lead. And a pass goes astray there. Yeah, some silly mistakes that are happening from both teams. And I think it's really showing on the court 
how they're really getting quite frustrated with what's going on. That was a lovely play in to the goal attack. Mara Sisters College really looks like they've got the lead right now by quite a lot. Six. Oh, bad luck there for the goal defence, Sarah North Fawcett. She did have possession of the ball, but uh, umpire Kundras has seen it go the other way. Great rebound. Umpire Talizio there showing his skills that he's not just an umpire, he's a ball boy as well. <laughs> Really helping the girls. Two players out. Athleticism on display from the Woolwich goalkeeper. Is that Maddie Britt? I'm not sure, but it certainly what an amazing attempt. Unfortunately, she went offside and Kensington are back in possession. Five minutes to go. This is where Kensington really need to make sure that they put this goal away, which they do. It's on their centre pass. Could this be their chance? The five-point lead Ball's been touched. Now. It's still alive. Unfortunately, Woolwich has picked that up and secured the possession now. So there was their chance which they'll try and get the ball back, I'm sure. Paige Husner, that goalkeeper coming around there, but the contact call is made. You can see the frustration in Osha's face, right in like the defense, goalkeeper and goal defense. They're getting caught up on a lot of contact. Both schools are really getting into it. Kensington need to make sure this goal goes in. There's a good feed. Shooter to shooter. And Ma'u just misses but gets the obstruction call. Again, there's a contact oh. there from the keeper is there. But right back ball's to still her. in play. And Lovely. she puts it away. That's what we need with only now. Nothing phases her. Lots of pressure there and she handled it amazingly. Gomez doing a lot of work around the circle. With only a four-point lead now. Open player right at the top of the D. The Woolwich fans go crazy. <laughs> yes, they do. They can smell this victory. It's within sight. Three yeah. minutes to go on the clock. You can see their mascots getting into it. There's girls on the floor. There's bodies flying. What is that mascot? Do we know? I think it's a shark. Is it a shark? Yeah, I think it is. Me and Natalie tried to have a good look when we went down. Excellent. We believe it's a shark, but still okay. not for sure. A gummy shark, I think it is. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's, it's blue nonetheless. Yes. Woolwich blue. And Gomez with a has six. now got one hand on the trophy for her school. Yeah, with a six-point lead now with under three minutes left of the fourth and final quarter. And the crowd starting to really sense the closeness of this game in terms of the victory for Woolwich. Oh, she's really trying to keep it together and really stay up with... Kensington have been magnificent. They have tried their guts out today. And again, we see the sweetness of the shot. Great triangle play there from pocket to top and into the shooter for Camille Musalem. That one-handed pull in from Milana Gale that has been so successful for her today. Woolwich striving down the court.
Great athleticism there from Rogers. And a neat one-two play to finish off the goal. It's only nearly less than a minute left of the quarter. You can see tensions are still high. Frustration is really showing through the Olsh players. I think they know what's about to happen. Mara Sisters College are on fire. Under a minute left to go. Netball's been the winner though, Gabby. Netball. Yes. But like, like we said at it's the start. It's a shame there has to be one victor today. Yeah. Like we said at the start though, I think it's amazing that these girls are getting these opportunities now to be able to perform at such high levels against other schools. And for most of these players, it's their last year at school, or some of these are year 11 students. And what a fantastic memory today is gonna to be for them. Exactly. So 10 seconds left on the clock for Woolwich. Crowd is counting down. Woolwich looking for one more goal to really secure. And, and it's got it. in. There's and the game. Woolwich have won the 2022 Senior Netball Sydney Catholic Schools Grand Final. What an amazing game and congratulations. Congratulations to both teams. But Mara Sisters College took the win for today. It was a great contest between two schools that have obviously fought their way into this Grand Final today and should be really proud of their efforts and certainly Kensington put up a great fight and showed us some really great netball. But congratulations to Mara Sisters Woolwich as the yeah. inaugural Catholic School's senior netball winners. What a fantastic achievement. Well done to them and well done to their fans watching and fans here today and also that blue thing we think is a shark. Is shark. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in.
Congratulations to both teams for making it this far. And I know some of you, some of your leaders are in year 12, so this will be your first and only Sydney Packers Tours Championship at the events. So well done for being here. I would like to start our medal presentation by announcing the player of the match. Congratulations to Mia Rogers from Village. And our champion team, Morris College Village. I'd like to invite Miss Stan Island, the principal of Morris College Village, to present the medal. Could our captain, Mayor Rogers, please come forward?